you want to go ahead and set it with the power. Okay? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it with this Anastasia um, brow pomade because it literally dries matte and almost like you can't move it. Okay? It's almost like a tattoo type of pomade. Right? So the only thing I'm going to do is just going to take this angle brush and I'm going to go and set her brows. It's not going to add a color to it per se. It's just going to set it. What do you get that from? You can get this from Sephora. Now, what is the uh -oh. name of this? I think it's a brown pomade. It's a, just a pomade. Oh, uh -huh. okay. And it's just a color Aubrey. And you put, you put it in that way? On um, her brows. Oh, okay. So I'm just going in with the same angle brush. Okay. And it's just really sharp as them too. And I just focus it on the outside. Okay. But um, I'm going to just take a new color like this. And I'm just going to set her her pattern here. And that's going to be a brow bone color for her in just a minute. Okay. Open your eyes. Okay, so let's talk about eye shape. So we talked about, like Tasha even mentioned, like foundation matching. Or some people not knowing how to put on eyeshadow or how to blend it. Okay, I know you talk about blending eyeshadow. You gotta know your eye shape. Looking at her, when she opens her eye, close your eye. You see a lid. When mm -hmm. she opens it, exactly. you don't see it. Yeah. That's called a hooded eye. Mm -hmm. She would not be the person that I would go and put a whole bunch of colors on her eye because you can't see it anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Just so you know. Oh, oh. Yeah. Because it's just really one color that smokes up and it's just going to add dimension and space to her eye. Now, open eye. Yeah. So you see that? She doesn't. That's gone. So why would I go waste all my time? You know, <laughs> <laughs> and then what also happens is that her color, when y'all got y'all eyeshadow ever got up here? Um, um, that's because you have a hood. Like you have a hood today. You have a hood. You have a hood. I have a hood. Oh, See, man, you ain't got hood. You, <laughs> you got a small hood, but you got enough space. You mean you have a similar hood? Okay. See the hood? I have a hood. Mm -hmm. You have a little hood too. Okay. She don't have a hood. See all that space? So even open your eye. It's still open. Okay. You got big eyes. Uh huh. So you know, a smoky eye, which is a smoky eye. Everybody looks good wearing a smoky eye. Listen to me. Listen. A smoky eye will bless your entire mm -hmm. life. Okay, and if you can't do anything else and you can try to do a dash out of the door type of look, smoke that thing out. I'm telling you, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bless you. So that's what we're going to do on today. Now, when we think about smoky eyes, smoky is not always just black, but we are going to do black smoky eye. But if you want to add blue to it, um, you can still add blue to it, purple, green, if you like colors, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add um, a base. I'm using NYX Skin Tone Base. This is just a very neutral but neutral base. What do you think the base is for? To help the um, eye, yeah. Make that eye shadow stay in place. Well, that's a primer. So that's good to do. <laughs> we're not going to use a primer on her because she don't really have a lot of lid space anyway. Okay? <laughs> but we are using the base. It's going to make whatever eyeshadow we put on pop. So sometimes when you go buy some of the cheaper brand eyeshadows or even some of these eyeshadows, it comes out looking a little different on your skin. And you keep having to build because you want the color to really come through, that's because you don't have a base. Mm -hmm. So most people just get a primer and stop there. Uh -uh. Primer, I'm listening to you today. Bases will bless your life, your eye life, okay? Skin tone by NYX is holy grail. What do you, oh, what do you, you think from? Target, Tar oh, Nick, okay. Ulta, I got you. Oh, yeah, okay. In is NYX. You take me a note. Target has there. a line. Mostly everybody has NYX now. That's where they have NYX in some of the CVSs now. What is it called? Walmart? Walmart. Yeah, I haven't seen it in Walmart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, if, um, I haven't seen it in Walmart. Yeah, Walmart Target. Yeah, Target, um, beauty supply stores, CVS. And it's called me. NYX. 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 Mm -hmm. And it's base. On his eyeshadow base. Mac on his Okay. They just changed the label. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take the, the base and I'm going to apply it all over her lid.
atunci cu era mai ieșit am un arpa. Mm-hmm. 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 So I threw that on, then I'm going to blend it out. I'm going to, you want to blend out your line of demarcation. Not on the product, but above it where it, you can see the demarcation. What do you think I mean by line of demarcation? Where it stops the line. You or just, too small. <laughs> yes. So this is a demarcation. You see that? Mm-hmm. So you want to blend that out. If you don't blend it out, it's how your eyeshadow is going to look when you put it on. You won't be able to blend it once you put your eyeshadow on. Because the thing about a, a, a base is it will deposit your product. So it's going to grab your product, and you won't be able to blend that stuff out. <laughs> so blend it out before you put it on there. Okay? So we're blending out the demarcation. See the difference? And again, where did I focus the, the brush? At the top where the demarcation was. Not here. You don't want to blend away your base because that's what's going to make your eyeshadow pop. Did you bring it in or out? Or I did a windshield wiper motion. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now we're about to start building her smoky eye. I like to build my smoky eyes from the bottom up. Some people you'll see build it from the inside down. This is not the way you should or shouldn't do it. This is just the way Millicent does it, okay? So you may de- develop your own way. I can't teach you taste, but I can teach you technique. Amen. Hey, that'll... <laughs> that'll... That's a good one. What an awesome plate, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tweet. Evil shot. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the Zulu palette from Julia's Place. And I'm gonna start with this brown color here. This is gonna be my transition color. What do you all think I mean by transition color? Transition. Yes. yes. It's going to literally transition one color to the next. Okay? And it's going to make sense once y'all see me build it. But I'm going to start and I'm going to get a bunch of this. So you want a transition color should be like a warmer color. So when, it, when you say warm, your browns, your really deep um, chocolates or something like that. But we're going to start here with something really warm because she has fair skin. So this is going to come on kind of orange, and that's what we want. So I'm getting a liberal amount. Don't be scared of this because you're going to essentially cover it up almost. And I'm going to apply that color all over her, all over her um, eye. Not in the brow bone area. I'm taking it up to the crease. Smoky eyes are also the easiest eye to do. So as you apply color, you always want to apply and blend. Apply and blend. I'm taking a clean brush and making sure that color doesn't get up there because we still need that light color in the brow bone area. Okay? Okay, so we're moving on. That's going to be our base, and it's going to make sense when it all comes together in just a second. So when I say this is our base, this is our transitional base, this is going to help us build everything else on her eye. Now we're going to deepen that brown or that warm color by going in with something that's a little deeper than the transition color. So I'm going to do a mixture of the brown and like that nutmeg color. And we're going to deepen it. And this time, we're going to focus the color. We're going to start at the base, and we're going to go just a little bit below it. And this is going to give you an ombre smoky look, okay? Mm-hmm. Test 
tell you all that makeup artists use, when you want to place color, you hold your brush at the base. When you want to blend color, you hold it at the tip. So if you hold it here, you won't be able to blend because you have the force on it. But when you have the loose of the brush, the better the blend. Ooh, that <laughs> Just calm, Jesus. This is your ministry. <laughs> now, uh, on the other hand, Miss Maxine. You know she pouring time down. Yeah. Okay. Now we're moving on to the black. Okay, so we got it working. Brown color. Now this is where we're about to make magic. Magic. <laughs> I am going to go in with the Sahara and get this black color. It's black color? Mm-hmm. And I am going to focus that color. So we did the transition and the crease. Then we deepened it right below it. So we're going to take the black even Below. Okay, so we're going to focus the black on the lid and just a little bit below the brown, okay? See how black that is? How many folks ever put black eyeshadow on it did come out that black? It don't be that black. Gray. 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 <laughs> Charcoal. <laughs> that base is holy gray. I keep telling y'all, don't sleep on it. And this again is why I don't put eyeshadow on last. See that black? <coughs> Look what happens. Mm. What happened there? So. <laughs> <laughs> I focused it on the lid. I'm gonna take a clean brush. What y'all think I'm gonna do now? Oh, um, blend. Yeah. yeah. Blend where? Uh, like right here. Yeah, which is, what is that called? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the line of demarcation. Because it tells you where it's starting or stopping, right? So you want to blend away the line of demarcation. So yeah, right. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Like when you do a smoky eye and you put um, sparkles on, mm -hmm. do you have to build from that too? Mm -hmm. Sparkles will be the last thing. So you do this. I brought some too, just in case, so I can top it. So we're, gonna, so we're gonna take her from going to church, going to, <laughs> going to the juke jump, okay? All right. So now I'm gonna blend. Mm -hmm. Change it. The fluffier the brush, the better it's gonna blend. So I changed my brush. Y'all see that smoking? Y'all see how, now y'all see the transition coming through now that we added the black, right? Y'all see like the brown or the red color that we put on? So we did like 40 to 5 miles. <laughs> so we did the transition color, we did a brown, and then we did a black. So three. 